drill and blast design is a set of tools that help you to obtain source data for drill and blast module from many popular data formats such as DXF, CSV, STR string files and many others. You can quickly upload all source data from such programs as Serpac, Datamine, Macromine and others. Automate creation process for drill projects, route design, blast hole spacing, parameter calculating, etc. Calculate automatically required parameters for drill blocks, numbering, depths, over drills, incline, etc. Calculate uh, and create and manage data sheets for drilling and blasting works for different depths, blast hole diameters, and explosive types. Perform models and 3D visualization of blast holes and work with them. Exchange data with drilling equipment for queries, open pits, and mines. Define parameters for actually drilled out blocks, defect by depths, blast hole numbering, etc. Calculate blast hole charges for drill blocks. Keeps records of drilling out and blasted mined rock. Design and automatically calculate switching assemblies. Define bricks in a block by mass blasts, etc. Define and visualize different hazards areas. Visualize blast of drill blocks in the open pit. Generate tabular and graphical documentation for large scale blasts. The software solution for drill and blast design. Your benefits. Drilling and calculations of drilling blocks of any complexity, considerable special features, of technological operational methods and mining and geological conditions. The options to determine forecast parameters of a drill block to be blasted at the stage of its design. The options to exchange data with position control system for drilling rigs, dispatches offices, and other systems. Planning and monitoring security facilities in each hazards area. Correction of blast hole models according to actual drilling data. Significant reduction of total time required to design drilling and blasting works. Optimization of drilling and blasting preparation of rock mass. Improving the quality of blasting process. We prepare a few examples to demonstrate you some use cases of program. While watching, I'm going to comment on videos. In this video, you see the elevation points building in the open pit start task create label by property and you see the building process let's see uh, use the layer editor to quickly select necessary objects then run the create label by property command we set the necessary settings. In this case, there are two lines with settings for toy and crest benches, respectively. Using this task, we can create different templates for creating labels 
by various properties of object. You can set the color, font, font size, distance from the object, uh, source objects, etc. You can also automatically remove the previous constructed text. Labels can be placed with rotation along the object or places inside polygon. OK. Click OK and we can see the result. Labels are located on the berms of the query because of each setting has necessary offset. Labels of toy bench have direction to center of the query and labels of crest benches have opposite uh, distance. These labels are uh, readable and those are not located of the slopes of the query. All labels are created in 3D space. Okay. Uh, now to build a drilling block. You select the required area for your future project. Specify a project number in which you can encode bottom elevation of glass holes. Type required data and construct required number of rows. For example, five. Drill hot pattern, numbering, and depth calculation are done automatically. Drilling block solid are also built. All construction are done in 3D. You can see it easily. We usually create drilling project task. First of all, we choose the place of block design. Considering the actual bench level, we set block number and its mark. Set the bench part from which the block will be designed. And set the five rows. Our main feature that other software do not have is that when you create drilling project in this task, you can set many different parameters for drill hole design and calculate charts. It can be burden of first row, spacing of first row, burden of spacing for last rows, uh, and many, many other technical parameters. Okay, uh, click the uh, build rows command. We can see the result of automatically constructions in 3D. We can also create sections and see how the block inside looks. To do this, draw a line, select and run the view plane clipping task. Let's do it. Okay. Here you can also create different templates. We apply to templates and look at the result. You can also display information of drill holes using the create label by property task. Now we see this process. Okay, set options, glass hole names and depth design and click OK. We can see the result. Also all calculated information was recorded in drill holes. We can see it in summary tables and see this in property editor. There are many parameters to see. 
the coordinates of drill holes, the inclination angles, depths and rebounds, spacing, burden, charge length, steaming length, overdrill, delay, water column high, and many, many other technical parameters. This information can be exported to various formats. Let's export it, for example, to Excel. The resulting file contains all necessary parameters. Let's do it. Okay. For ease of use, you can customize input and output of required information. And then you can use previously saved setup. Open table settings. There are also many uh, options for settings. In the columns tab, we can hide or show different data we needed. Click save and see the result in the summary table. Okay. In such a way, you can show the resulting data about block. You can also customize the data type you need to see. For this, open the field correspondence settings and select the required information. Let's click. Uh, for example, it can be block numbered and block volume. There is a large range of such parameters. You can see it. Click create block point command and show the result. Okay. Drilling block boundary can be built automatically regarding many parameters. You can take into account a current or an overlying bench, a line of previously blasted bore hole. You can select different dis designing variants of rows and bore hole patterns. While designing, you can easily change required parameters. Let's see. For do this, uh, build the designing area. To do this, we select a part of crest bench, a part of the toy bench, and a part of toy next bench. Okay, next we click create project area. You can change the parameters and automatically rebuild the project area. So we look at result. For example, uh, input 10 meters and rebuild project area. Okay.
It is easy to build all necessary rows if you don't know their number. The system itself determines the required quantity within a project area. Please note that the solid of our blocks is created concerning a bench toy as it was selected. Initializing. Then we construct all rows to fill the project area and look the result. All constructions are performed in 3D. All calculations are also recorded in drill holes. You can see it in property editor. Then hide the pit bar frame and look at block from the all sides. From any side. Okay, and let's build the create block point if it's necessary. To do this, click one button. Okay. The block can be designed manually by adding one on several rows to a project. Disable check boundary automatically and build rows in manual mode. Now we build one row, then one more row, and two rows, for example. You can choose any number. Okay. Similarly, you can edit a block by deleting the required number of rows or boreholes. Rows can be removed one at a time or several at once. In compressions uh, with other software, with command, you can number borehole of drilling block automatically and in different ways. For example, you can numerate boreholes from the beginning of the block continuously in this form, where the number of next boreholes start from the nest ball hole and so on. Okay. Now we delete our rows and uh, let's see the numbering for example. First, we will build the numbering in order. The numbering starts at one and continues for each next row. To see this, create the label by property, choose blast hole and click OK. Now we see our blast holes start with one. Okay, you can also do not number drill holes or number with a zipper, snake way. We can show this numbering uh, using also the create label by property task. Let's do this. No numbering or numbering and as templates. create our label and see the result. Okay, 
Now we see our numeration in uh, zipper variants. You can use uh, any other uh, modes of numbering. For example, uh, numbering from number. Uh, it can be any number, uh, for example, 45. Uh, let's click uh, renumbering and see our uh, numbering of uh, drilling block. We see this our first uh, borehole with number uh, 55 and so on. Okay, uh, combine uh, uh, differs uh, from the other software solution is following item ability to adjust parameters for building drilling block both manually and automatically. Drilling block solid is created with account for an open pit surface, a bench toy, a bench crest, a design invest and other constraints. Let's see how the boundary of the drilling blocks will be created in manual mode. For example, I will remove one row and click create block boundary. As a result, the boundary is built according initialized objects. Let's look at results. We can see it in 3D. Okay. There are many other variants of drilling block design in the program. For example, you can build over the grid both with defined number of rows and boreholes with automatically defined number. You can display numbers of drilling block boreholes on other boreholes options. You can print all the required data in the necessary type at once. You use a design tool and create the required printing template. Then you upload it into formats of other programs. Now let's see how you can design a block on the grid. For this we will set required number of rows and drill holes. We will choose a place and angle of block rotation. Create a boundary. We can display the numbering of the screen and print the report. Let's show numbering and depth design or only numbering. And print the report in any templates. The report type and its contents can be defined kinds. Reports can be converted to other programs. Okay. It can be uh, Adobe, XML, Excel, CSV, and many, many other formats. Now print if needed. The actual parameters of drilling block, such as hole pinch, spacing, distance between rows, burden, toe burden, line of least resistance, other can be identified 
due to command define actual parameters of drilling block. In this task, you need to specify those parameters you want to define. Only with command, all other calculations and building are done automatically. Here you see this constructions building. Let's see how the actual parameters of drilling block are calculated. Select drill holes and the toy bench and run define actual parameters of drill blocks task. Select the uh, template with definition of the parameters spacing, burden, and toy burden, and click OK. You can uh, choose multiplicity and other parameters. All other calculations are performed automatically. We can see the result. Okay. The program helps to visualize the required parameters intervals. For example, it can be over drills, intervals, loading plans, phase lengths, steaming, etc. So you can see them on the borehole directly. For example, we can perform visualization of the bins. To do this, select the required parameters, for example, over drills, and click OK. And see the result on 3D. Okay. Now let's see a drilling block wiring up. You can create wiring up with different templates. You can use different building variants such as wiring up lines with smart snapping. While creating a borehole, all required information is recorded. Symbols are created in wiring up lines. The column helps to set up parameters of the objects that will be created along the specific line. Next stage is blasting unit wiring up. To do this, run the create wiring up lines with parameter task. Then select the desired line and build it using different snapping. It can be snapping by zone, by triangulation, and other. Uh, next, uh, we choose wiring up with delay 42 milliseconds and build our line with snappings by zone. Okay. And now we create another wiring up line with delay 67 milliseconds. We can create it in automatically base tracing. Now we see them. And we can see the result now. Okay, it's done. Uh, then we can calculate all delays, both on the one block and on several blocks, build safety zones of different purpose, check switching schemes for breaking in hole and simulate fly rock, building breaking line and so on. 
In the end, let's see the BLAST simulation task. For this, I select the first switching line and run the BLAST situation simulation task. Uh, you can uh, choose any parameter. Calculate delay teaming, uh, show recalculate teaming. Uh, you can build breaking line by space of time, by bus holes with any intervals. Uh, you can show wiring up detonation, blast hole detonation, and uh, fly rock fragments apart. Uh, you can choose uh, delay coefficient, update time, rock speed, and many, many other parameters. You can create uh, any uh, number of safety zone with different parameters. Okay. Select the design line and uh, build. We can see the process. As a result of simulation, we see that security zones were built according to a query mass pieces explosions. Our additional feature is that due to our graphical data, you can quickly make a printed report that meets your, all your requirements and complies with your standards. Now we see all of this in 3D. You can see uh, all teaming, uh, all delay with uh, our blast hole. Uh, building create lines, breaking lines, and many other parameters. So, uh, drill and blast uh, design helps you to reduce significantly the cost of drilling and blast.